Hey, this is Joe from Data of Handsome, and today I'm going to be showing you one of the least known secrets about PHP. Do you know that PHP can be used to build uh, desktop applications? Yes, the desktop, regular desktop applications that you have a window and stuff like that. Yeah, most people um, think about PHP as a web language, which it really is, but it also has some functionalities that allow you to build desktop applications. So let's jump right into that. And to get that, uh, you have to go to gtk.php.net. So once you go to gtk.php.net, you're here to download. And then, uh, as you know, these are all releases, but they do work. Um, so let's click on this uh, GTK uh, 2.01 um, Windows Binary Pack. Let's download that. And as you can see, it starts to download. So let's wait for that to download. Perfect. So now let's open it up. Okay, really nice. Okay, that forty that trial version. Okay, close. So let's ex extract this to um, let's see local disk, and then let's extract it to local disk. Okay, it's trying to extract that. Okay, pretty good. So now let's close this because we don't need that anymore. And let's come here and we extract it into the C um extract it into the C, right? Oh there it is. PHP dash GTK. Okay, that's good. So now what we need to do is copy this path. Copy control C or you can select it and click uh, copy and then you can go to um, your computer and then right click properties and then you will get a window like this and then here what you do is click on advanced settings advanced system settings and then you will get another pop-up window like this and then you have to click on environment variables and then you have to go here and click uh, uh, look for the system variable called path and then you have it there path and then click edit and then after this after the last one you have there semicolon and then paste the whatever you copy the path that you copy from the php.gtk okay you paste it that okay so it looks fine click okay and then okay and then OK, and then we can close this because we don't need it anymore. And now let's go ahead and do some uh, interesting stuff here. So as you can see here in this folder, it calls, it's called demos. Open that up. OK, let me uh, maximize this. So these are some demos that they include in the, in the package. So you can see how it works. So now let's do this because um, I want to run one of those examples and that's what I'm going to show you. So let's uh, create a new text document and let's call it run that bat. So I'm going to create a batch file that um, allows you to, oh better yet, let's call it run that uh, txt but we're going to convert that into a batch file so I'm just calling it run that txt so we can edit it so edit i have notepad plus plus install which is a really good tool so i'm going to edit that with notepad plus plus and here comes notepad plus plus i'm going to start typing start so that command is going to start the command prompt at that directory which is good for us because we just have to call the php command and the name of the file so we don't have to include the path to the file so right now let's rename this sorry because sometimes you see the menu out of screen so rename this as run that bat 
so yes you want to change the file extension okay so this is a, a batch file so now what you can do is open it up and it will bring up this uh, command prompt window in Windows so as you can see we're in that current path so now the only thing we have to do is go PHP that's the command and then how do you think about it what do you think about if we call this image browser.php let's try it img browser.php okay let's see did I call the right one I guess I did okay let's see it's php img browser.php so what happened here is that I don't see my window coming up oh it took a while to bring up the window but the window is right here so as you can see this is a desktop application and let's see what we get on it oh, all right double click on that and you'll see the image really nice I have to double click on the thumbnail on the left to see the image this is really nice this is one of the less known features about PHP but it's really cool yeah it's really cool so now let's call another one PHP and let's go GTK icon view that PHP oh nice and we come up with this other screen that's really nice so let's close that oh and by the way it came with another screen but it was off screen so but let's bring it let's bring both of those screens here and as you can see here we have two windows and one controls the other one like you see that wow that's really nice there you go spacing really nice row spacing so you can see you can modify that dynamically which is really good really really nice well it seems like it would come up with some errors I guess the demo program was not right but anyways you get the idea it's really useful to have that and it's really cool to have that PHP desktop applications um, well I don't know uh, tell me what you guys think about it in the next videos uh, I'm gonna try to do some more advanced stuff with this but I hope you guys have a great time and see you next time don't forget to subscribe to my channel at Digital Phantom FX uh, to keep track of my videos and tutorials and if you want follow me on Twitter at Digital Phantom or like my Facebook page Digital Phantom alright guys see you next time